Hi everybody, I am G.I. Jolie and I'm here at Detroit Comics Radio Book Club and I'm here with Lisa Fridge and Pat. We're going to talk about the comic, I guess. We have two very conflicting points. What did you think of the book? I loved the book and I'm not a horror person at all. I didn't even know it was a horror book. What I really liked was that he explored a lot of themes in our discussion tonight, explored a lot of themes which a lot of times never happens when we're discussing a graphic novel and that's what I really appreciated about it. And yourself, Pat? Um, I thought it was okay. Um, I liked it enough as a piece of work by Scott Snyder. I just didn't think it was an effective horror story. Yeah, there was a lot of controversy about how we, or that you're, you yourself didn't feel like the comics medium had the ability to convey horror or to be horrific. Can you uh, just talk a little bit more about that? Sure, and I mean, it may have to do with, with like what kind of horror you like too. Like the kind of horror I like is the one that are the kind of horror films that, for example, uh, the rules aren't as set. There's a lot of ambiguity and, and uncertainty. And I think that in this one, Snyder just puts in a lot of stuff that sort of operationalizes and shows us how the scary things function. So that for me isn't really scary. And yourself, Lisa? I think the scary part of this book, which I said was not really the witches, the the monsters in it, but really, am I allowed to say what happens in the book? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert. That the mother is really the, the scary part of it, and, and that the person who's closest to you and who's supposed to love you, and um, it turns out to be the person who, who puts you in harm's way, that is extremely frightening. And, and, and so for that, that reason, I, I really uh, appreciated Yeah, so the idea that us ourselves as humans can be just as scary as monsters. I, to I totally agree. I also half-heartedly agree with the whole comic medium thing. I'm not. I'm new to like horror uh, in comics, but I find it. It's, it's very like and touch and go. Yeah. Okay. So another bone of contention with uh, a lot of the people who reviewed the book tonight was the art. What are your feelings about the art? I guess. I liked it. I, I like Jock's style. I do think that sort of the layering of the, the sort of splotchy element to it, which I thought kind of detracted. Again, like it, it, to me, it just sort of made me feel like it, it, it was, the story was trippy, but not necessarily scary. And yourself? I don't, I, I don't generally look at the art as much as a lot of other people because I don't have a big background in comic books or anything. But what I look at for art is um, if it conveys an emotion, which I thought it did. I appreciated when I was rereading it that the artist gave a lot of clues as to what how the story was going to unfold, which I did not notice at all the first time through. And was that something that was a, a, apparent after we had discussed it in... No, but I, I went back to reread it, part of it today, and I'm like, oh, look what they did there. Look at how the artist did this. And so that kind of thing I appreciated and kind of thought that made the art better. So it's worth like a second reading, you think? I think you could, you get way more out of it the second time. Like once you realize where the story's going to go, because it can be a little, you know, uh, confusing. Um, but once you see where it's going, then you then I think you appreciate so much more and, and the themes get deeper and deeper as when you reread it. Okay, so you would recommend it? I would. I think it's a well-written story. I just don't think it's a scary story. Okay, are there any picks uh, as comic book readers that you would give to our audience that you would suggest that they read? That's I mean, scary? Yeah, and I mean, I can start off. Okay. I would recommend Sabrina the Teenage Witch by Roberto Aguirre-Sacasa. Yeah, mm -hmm. honestly, I really loved the Archie stuff. And if we were gonna talk about witches, the Sabrina <laughs> stuff I think is much more faithful to like the Salem type of witch, you know, the Satanist types. But anyway, that would be my pick, so. I guess we'll go to a classic like 30 Days of Night, which is still extremely scary to me especially with Ben Temple Smith's like really creepy art style so I recommend that if you have pics that you would suggest please comment below like up this video go to www.comicbooksyndicate.com you can hear all of our podcasts there from the Detroit Comics Nerdy Book Club these sort of splotchy 
Pollock-esque elements kind of detracted for me. Hold on a second. Okay. Say that again, Pollock. but say Pollock. Pollock-esque elements? I'm no, go back to the whole thought, because it was a really good thought. Oh, wait, what? Because Pollock is a, po it's a slur. I, oh, it's I'm a racial sorry. slur. <laughs> it's just how I say it. How do I say it? Oh my God. Pollock. 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 Pollock.